What's going on YouTube? I'm Candice J, Certified Life Coach. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to get into a topic that is near and dear to my heart. I say this because I have came across a lot of women, including myself, who when they get into a relationship, they give it their all to where they lose themselves and their self-worth is depleted either during the relationship or after the relationship. I know for me personally, I felt undeserving after my toxic relationship. I felt undeserving of all things in my life. And because of that, I tolerated and accepted a lot of things that I shouldn't have. So stay tuned on tips and things that you can do in order to gain your self-worth. First thing I want you to remember is that what you speak out into the world impacts what the world will provide to you. So if you're constantly talking about, oh guys ain't sh girls ain't sh guess what the world is gonna give to you or have be drawn to you? Ain't shit people, okay? So just be mindful of that, that what you speak out into the world, it does make a difference. We are powerful manifestors, believe it or not. So just be mindful of the things that you say out your mouth. Speak positivity in all aspects of your life, during all situations of your life. And you cannot be mad at the world just because you took an L. We have to, we have to, you know, understand that an L is not a loss, but it's a learning experience. So this way it can teach you going forward what you don't want in the next person of your relationship. He caught me slipping. That is on me. And I went out of G. Have you ever heard of the saying, to get over someone, you gotta get under someone. Don't do this, okay? Do not do that at all. In order to get over someone, you must heal those wounds that you had in your previous relationship before getting into another relationship. And to do this is to spend time with yourself and only yourself in order to figure out who you are as an individual and what you wanna create for yourself things that you need to work on within yourself. So this way you don't lose your identity when you go into the next relationship. Remember to pour into you with or without a relationship. It's all about balance. I've experienced so many people who got out of a divorce or got out of a relationship and they don't know who they are because they poured so much into their families or the last relationship. So please spend time with yourself. And a lot of people, they might be afraid to spend time with themselves and afraid to be alone because they're either not ready to face the reality of who they are as a person or they might not like themselves when they are alone versus when they're around people. But whatever it is, you need to figure it out alone to create the individual that you want to be for the future. Figure out what it is that you actually want and do not want in your significant other and your relationship. When you're able to specify what it is that you actually want, you will be able to communicate freely and confidently to your significant other your needs and you're also able to identify if those needs are being met and if they're not ladies i understand that our clocks are ticking and we want to get married at a certain age we want to have kids at a certain age and we want to take over the world all before 40. for some before 30 but i'm in the 30s club so before 40. <laughs> but i say this to say when you're dating or courting someone, take your time. It's okay to take your time. 
This way, you can form genuine bonds and you can get to know the person. You wanna form a friendship as well. And by doing this, you're able to connect and feel comfortable with each other. So work on you. So this way you can be able to receive love in a healthy way, in an easy way, all in divine timing. Just to recap, in order to gain your self-worth, remember to spend time with yourself, pour into you at all times, figure out your wants and needs, and take your time when dating. Remember that you are worthy and you are powerful. Stay blessed, queens.